Hello everybody, as you can see this is MacBook Pro 2017 13 inch one and somehow the screen panel is not working so we're gonna replace it. So first of all what you should do, one advice for you, okay, before you start make sure you do have all the accessories because Apple always made independent repair very difficult because they don't want to let people the privilege to use it honestly, okay. So that's why they use many different types of screws in many different size, many different types. For example, this MacBook Pro, due to replace the screen, you should have minimum four different types of screw heads. So I bought wall stick one, F plus one. You don't have to buy this one anyway, but it's good to have one precision automatic screwdriver set like this, okay? It comes with around 70 to 75 screw bits as you can see all different types of screws and also it does have the actual pen which is rechargeable lithium-ion battery uh, built-in inside and it takes all the screws from T1, T2, T7, Y, H all different series and stuff like that and the cost around 40 pound which is not too much but anyway uh, in this repair I'm not going to use the automatic screw driver pen the reason is those screws are very sensitive so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the same screw bits in my existing screwdriver which is handheld one and it does take also which is standard okay the good point with this screwdriver it does comes with all the markings okay uh, previously the screwdriver that I had they never mentioned the model number example this is T5 that is T3 which one we need it mark it and then Pantalo P2 okay so these three we definitely need for inside to replace the screen kind of a paper or magnetic board to organize the screws because all screws are different as I said okay so first is first what you need to do due to replace the screen you should have the replacement okay which one does cost me around 300 uh, pound okay it comes with the complete assembly which is brand new one I don't know if this is 100% from Apple or not, but it seems like quite firm and nice, okay, well packaging and stuff like that. Okay. So that's the thing. So I'm going to leave it in the side. First of all, I need to get access inside first, and then we'll do one by one, okay. So first of all, take out all the screws that you can see, which have already been removed, and now put the suction cup somewhere at the bottom side, not the, you know, uh, upper side, okay and try to pull this out and then okay you need to little bit slide outwards okay no towards you outwards like that okay example come on okay. as you can see so that's the back of it there are two knobs which one keep locked into place okay that's the first thing Second one, before you start any electronic device, make sure you disconnect the power source, which is very important. So this is the one, the power connector, and then the battery connector also, we have to remove it, but there is a kind of uh, sticky label, okay? After removing this, okay, leave it on the side, and now we're gonna disconnect this uh, power connector, which is that one. All right. Make sure you do it very carefully because this is one of the most sensitive ones. So this is the one T5 one. I'm going to connect in here. I will take out this flat screw which is right here very gently and we'll put it in the magnetic board all right so now I'm gonna take a plastic card because there are two prongs which is plus and minus okay um, I don't want to let it keep connect uh, when I continue the repair or replacement so I'm gonna keep like that So the next step is uh, when the power is disconnected, next step 
to take out the display connector by T3 I believe okay so this is T5 we're gonna go for T3 <clears throat> so now we're gonna remove the display connector with T3 which is thicker with two screws So after I disconnected the display cable, I'm going to disconnect this two metal shield, okay. Uh, this one also does take T3. Okay, so I organized the screws, so I'm not going to miss it out, okay. and. I shouldn't forget I lost one of the screws in there which is that one I'll put it right here that's absolutely fine now so now I'm gonna take that LCD control panel which is there uh, secure with four screws which one should take T5 which is right here I believe one second yeah T5 this is kind of tricky anyway Once you remove these four screws, it's going to be come up like that, as you can see. This is the control board, comes with the actual screen panel. Yep. So now, when this board is already, uh, I mean, disconnected uh, from the screw base, now we're going to remove the Wi-Fi antenna, which is secured with 6M6 tool, such a tiny one, and you definitely need P2 for it. Okay, I would suggest you buy, before you start, please buy the whole uh, set because, you know, if you don't have one, then you're going to be stuck middle of the way. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it in right here. Okay, let's remove all of them. We already removed six six twelve screws from the Wi-Fi antenna. This is the time to remove this plastic cover from the hinges with T3. Remember T3. So now the when 12 screws removed then we have to take down this one which one hold the antenna cable right into the place okay so this one you need the bigger one which is t5 don't forget about it and i'm going to keep it right next to this because this is from the same unit okay and this is the time to disconnect the antenna connector which is that one one two okay and now we need to remove the actual this one yeah it looks like softer the good point is Apple didn't use any sort of you know glue or anything underneath thanks to them this is first time I've seen they made it easier it's fine it's gonna take a little bit of extra job to take this out 
I just want to check if there is anything. No, there is nothing. It's a kind of little prong in there. Okay, gently pull this out. This is the actual antenna for 2017 MacBook Pro. Now we're going to remove these four screws, which is T4. So the spring panel also removed as you can see it goes like that way now these six screws okay so what I can do I can open it 90 degree angle then I will take it out because otherwise I would not be able to pull this out from the actual base so for this reason I need T8 screwdriver I want to keep it 90 degree angle like that because the screen is broken I'm going to leave it like that and then I will take out the first top two and keep one make sure you use with the right one otherwise the screws are super strong and it's going to break the actual either the screwdriver or the screw threads Two, huge one. I really feel good when I take out big screws rather than small one because the small one is too hard and easy to damage. screws left and what I need to do is let's remove it and see what happened okay we disconnected all the flex whatever we need to it's done only just to take out the actual panel as you can see this is uh, shaking so that's mean there is nothing to hold it into the main chassis Okay, so what we need to do, this one we need to lift a little bit. Good. Come on, yeah. So that's the actual screen panel, which one broken. It's taken out, so remember, if this one flat, then it has to be more than 90 degree. That is the 90 degree one, and you can see. So this is more than 90 degree angle. So we have to take same way the replacement one as well. Okay. So that's the actual main panel. I'm gonna leave it like that. And now it goes in that way. So that kept it exactly the same way because the nose. A lot of people they attempt themselves when they have do they don't have any knowledge and they damage it that, all right so i have to hold the actual flex in that way otherwise it's going to stuck in other way around yeah good now first thing is we're going to put the 336 screws back in here we're not going to tidy it too much we're going to keep it like little bit into the place and then we'll adjust the placement alignment and then we'll go for it little bit not too much So this one needs to little bit shaky. Hopefully into the right place. 
Let's double check. It seems like too easy. This one looked like too hard. We need to double check before we close it. Now it's going in. That's fine. To this side. It seems it's fine without any issue, which is absolutely brilliant. And now, again, we're going to leave it like that and we'll work into it. So, we're going to start from the latest unplugging or unscrewing. So, example, the last one, which one we did, is taking out this uh, spring one which comes with the four screws so we're gonna put it back first we're gonna go in that way okay it seems a little bit difficult but it shouldn't be like that all right to put back the spring one is a little bit diff difficult I can see it looks like the cable shortage but it's not this is the way it is so what are you gonna do we're gonna put it back with the four screws fine Seems it's fine now, and we have to do the same thing in right here. Okay, this one looked like a little bit easier. All right, so it seems like very difficult, but it's not honestly. It comes step by step. Okay, and I know a lot of people they left a comment. Uh, previous video they said their you know hand start shaking when they do that I know why because first of all in their mind oh if I damage it, it's going to be cost too much you know if you feel that way you can't fix it already done and the second one would be if you want we can cover it up now because it's almost done so I'm gonna start with this now now these things first hopefully that would go inside the first thing is to put the flags I mean the two cable for the antenna that way and then gently push it down this way okay I think somebody broke it before they tried okay if it doesn't go no problem we can take this out I haven't tried it before. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now... Hello. So 4 and 4, uh, 6 and 6, 12 screws with the P2 pantaloon. Which is right here, I believe, yeah. So now we can put back all the screws that we can see. Those two are the same in size, so you can start any screw from anywhere. Right. 
that's all done now this is the one should back into the place with the p41 screw for the wi-fi antenna gently put it back make sure you don't damage the actual connector easy to get damage This done now there are four more screws which is that one one so don't mix it up there are also two types of screws the first to end one are different slightly different than the two center one Alright, so now we're going to connect the display connector, which is in right here. Also, you have to be very careful because it doesn't matter how nicely you've done. If you click in the wrong way, you're going to damage the actual flex. It's connected. And finally, two screws will sit here, then another two screws will be there. Can you see the little bit this one embossed? Mm -hmm. This one will be that side mm -hmm. and end, end point towards me is going to be flat. So make sure you don't put it other way around. That's the way. And always you need to switch the screw which is kind of pain, you know. So it seems it's fine in right here and now what I'm going to do, the faster battery one, so first this one which is the actual flat screw, P3 I believe, quite loose but that should be fine. Good. And finally this connector. Let me double check if it sits in the place or not. Yeah, that's fine. That's brilliant. Let's put it back in right here. Let's connect the charging cable. Yes turning on still I kept the film because I'm not sure if the screen is faulty or not let's check it out okay so this seems absolutely fine let me double check here everything is working there is no dead pixel now we're gonna turn this off and we'll put the back cover lead in there so it shows 19% I'm gonna take out the charger just to see if 
uh, the machine still detect the battery or not because most of the time I found many people try attempt to repair or replace the screen and later on they found issue with the battery it seems it's fine so that's when we didn't damage anything trackpad does work I'm gonna shut it down and that is absolutely fine brilliant so finally it's done now the actual back cover so this is the plate same way first the form bit and then the back one keep it like that Apple could make it easier but they don't want it you know this one is seems it's fine let me double check Now the six screws. Two looks like a little bit slightly longer, which is that one. So it's done. So finally, one more time, we're gonna turn it on and check. So a couple of things you know first thing make sure you do have the right tools to do that and right part and the um, second thing is before we attempt when you get in make sure you disconnect the power cable and then the battery cable and then use the right screwdriver for the right uh, part honestly and it takes a little bit of time if this is first time take your time and I believe you can finish it less than an hour okay uh, that's all pretty much let me know uh, how did you like the video still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section thank you so much for watching bye bye